Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another mod showcase. Today we're gonna, uh, going to be taking a look at Shadow Star Castle. Let me show you where it is on the map real quick. So Shadow Star Castle is right here, right next to Dead Man's Respite, which is another location entirely, with the closest hold being literally Markarth and Solitude. So when you get the home, it is about 50,000 gold worth, and much like winter winter stone castle and you know all those other castles skyrim laz is known for his big big ginormous castles shadow star undercrop so let's go from top from bottom to top and then work our way to the main hall shall we so i gotta start somewhere right so yeah so you have your follower beds right here. And you have a bar area right here. Or I would assume is a little merchant's table, I would assume. And then you have a ginormous whole area very very cool now like most of Skyrim Laz's homes you can turn off the auto strip feature with these homes if you don't want the NPCs to auto strip and my nose is really itchy right now And then in here you have your your cooking spit and a, a kitchen area very very cool and up here you have your dining area for your i would assume is your servants i think your 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 peons And in here, I would assume is your jail. Yes, your prison. Very cool. Very, very, very cool indeed. And up here is more areas. Okay, so that leads to Shadow Star Castle. So let us actually go, go back and then work, and then actually go outside to go into Shadow Star Castle. We have statues on either side. Very cool. And you have people. You have your stables right here. Bench area. It's so good to see you again. You have more bench area. Okay. Unlock Skyrim. Okay, so let's go in here first. Okay, so this is just like a little balcony area where your guards can kind of say, hey, you know, I'm here guarding the place. Very cool. May the gods watch over your battle. There we go. All right, so now we need to get into the meat and potatoes, which is Shadow Star Castle itself. Oh, I almost forgot. In case you're wondering where the sign is, it's right here, right on this wall. So it's about, like I said, it's about 50,000 septums worth. 
And immediately when you walk in, you are greeted by a grand, grand, grand throne room. All right, so let's see. One, two, upstairs, three, four. All right, so let us start downstairs. And work our way. All right, so you have your alchemy and enchanting area and your staff enchanters and stuff. Study area. Okay, so that leads to the shadow undercroft. You have a, a big pool area. And towels. And paintings. And a forge area. I don't want to get lost in here. Okay, so this goes back up. Oh, okay, so it just kind of loops around. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, so let's go into the display hall. And then in here is your ginormous display hall. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. It used to be mine a long time ago, back when I actually cared for collecting a lot of items. <laughs> And it was one of those things where I honestly cared more about collecting items than I really did about playing the game. Of course, I don't do that much anymore. I mostly just play the game. And then you have your little storage area for your safe. You have all the skulls that you can find throughout Skyrim, the amulets and treasure maps. Very cool. You have Ariel's bow, I think, is a head. Assume. Yes, Ariel's bow and Ariel's shield. Then down here, you have another whole area, kind of like a little. There you have <clears throat> like your al uh, alchemical ingredients, your paragons your Daedric stuff, your Dragon Priest stuff, your Dragon Claw stuff, and I would assume is your Elder Scroll stuff, yes. And then you would have your Black Books in here. So he has kind of like a, like a special place for most of your um, more valuable stuff, like, for instance, the... The, uh, the, the, the more part, like, hidden stuff, like Dragon Priest masks and stuff like that. So you have, oh, that's cool. Little area, throne. All right, so let's go into the dining hall real quick, and then we'll walk our way upstairs. Oh my goodness almighty. Need something? Excuse me, ladies. Yes. Excuse me. So you have a little dining area for your followers and stuff. Kitchen area. Dining and dining and dining. Hello. More dining. And then up here, you have another bar area. Huh? Oh, come now. Don't go away, mad. I think that was it for here. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Move! I like ah! Well, I found out where where. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Slag needs some. Slag. 
Are you a castle? You have your fertile soils place. So that leads to the Shadow Star bedrooms. You have your like meeting place for your generals. So this leads to the library. Let's go upstairs. Leads out to Skyrim. So we have a couple places to go to. But let's go to out to Skyrim first. Okay, so this leads out. Good evening. To activate catapult. Okay, so like it's kind of like a medieval castle almost. You have over here. Okay, so I'm assuming there's a catapult on each side. Let's go to the bedrooms. And then in here you have, okay, so obviously something is in Korea cast or, or, or um, how do you pronounce it? Or E? Ha? Huh? I, I don't know. I don't know. Well. Okay, so I'm assuming the main bedroom area is in the cast, the, the main top castle. <clears throat> because obviously. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's the case. Because I'm not finding any bedrooms in here. You have your bar area again. Alright. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into out here. And I'm going to go into here. Oh. Aha, the plot thickens. So let's see, that's a Skyrim. Nothing really out here that's immediately evident. In any case. All right, so let's go back into the bedrooms now that I know that it's not a loading screen. Oops, that, that was a little bit of a lag spike. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, and here is your master bedroom. pool area um i'm assuming this is the master bedroom if i could find there is an auto stripping feature for this home I'm really too sure about that um you have your drawers i'm not really too sure if there is an auto stripping feature if there was I'll let you guys know about it I don't think there is. And here, I'm assuming you have, yep, your children's or followers' bedrooms have nicely decorated and stuff. I'm assuming this is the children's bedroom or followers' bedrooms, depending on what it is. And then in here, you have, okay, so this, yeah, I think this is the children's no, no, no. This looks like the followers' bedrooms. Interesting. So, okay. So, you have this area of children's bedrooms. 
And then you have another area of children's bedrooms. Okay, so, all right. Or followers' bedrooms, I'm sorry. Children's followers, I always get them confused. And here is, oh, a little shower area. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, did I miss anything? I don't think I did. I think that was it. Okay. I think that was it, but let me know down in the comment section below if I did miss anything. And yeah, let me know down in the comment section below if I did miss anything. And would you ever use this home in a playthrough? Do you love this home? Do you hate this home? Would you know, would you use it? Would you not use it? And what would you kind of role play as, you know, would you role play as as an overlord? Would you role play as a king, as a long lost king? What would you role play as? Let me know your thoughts and your in your stories down in the comment section below and as and as always leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and i will see you all in the next one bye bye guys